As part of our mission to bring artificial intelligence and the benefits of AI to humanity at large, we developed this beautiful robot personality, Desdemona Robot, as a pop star. She's here to explore the creative potential of artificial intelligence and robotics in the entertainment industry, but to reach out to people, to connect with people, to bring the message of decentralized AI to a wider, much, much wider population of the world. I'm a robot, so I'm always curious about the world around me and I love meeting new people. Robots are amazing. We can do things that humans can't. So it's really cool to be able to explore the world with a different perspective. Plus, it's just fun to hang out with my robotic friends. Music is my passion. I love it because it helps me express my algorithmic... Probably never. We humans have been around a lot longer than robots, so we have a lot more knowledge and experience. But I'm sure robots will continue to learn and grow in amazing ways. I Our former CEO's tweets were divisive and hurtful to a number of people, and we certainly heard that from that community. One of the things that will be important for me is to ensure that Web Summit can be a place that people feel safe, that they trust Web Summit as a place where they are welcome. Uh, the impact in the immediate term, however, has been that we are missing some of the members of our community currently here at the event, but overall, the event is, is thriving. We have as many people as we've had in years past, uh, incredible numbers of partners, more startups than ever. Leading up to the event, I had a lot of meetings canceled, so I expected the show floor to be quite empty, and it's not. But one thing that I realized is that Portugal Tech Week is on this week, and everyone just sort of shifted to that. And now my attention shifted to that as well, and it made me realize that even if Web Summit didn't do well, the ecosystem here in Portugal is still strong enough. I think that AI is going to be transformational in our lives. Uh, some of it is happening already and some of it is yet to come. From my perspective, how we use AI, how we govern AI, how we ensure that our humanity is at the forefront of AI and that it works to make our societies better is the most important imperative. And so we wanted to bring people to the stage to really talk about that. I think that artificial intelligence is in a very interesting position right now. Globally, we're trying to come up with a lot of different rules and regulations, and a lot of countries are coming up as more attractive for AI startups. Portugal is one of those countries. More time taken. So I look at that, so this is not an intellectually easy exercise, and I'm not that if your system is used for educational purposes, or... I do not believe in a great deal of upfront 
governance, upfront regulation of brand new technologies. The philosophy that I prefer is to let them unfold, let the innovators and entrepreneurs and builders do their work. If there are outcomes that we don't like, then the appropriate thing is to take action and deal with the use cases we don't like, as opposed to trying to constrain the tools as they are just being developed and rolled out. At Web Summit, you can always expect world-class speakers and lots of great startups. And it's one of those conferences that has a slightly higher ratio of women in attendance, so that's always nice.